we are on our way to look at a small collection. Stick around to see what happens. Hey everyone, I got a phone call. Somebody wants to sell four or five long boxes of comics, bronze, silver age stuff, but maybe some mostly independent stuff, gold key, Dell, things like that. So we're gonna take a look. The good news is we only have to drive one or two miles here to meet up and take a look at everything. So I don't know what I'll be able to get on camera, what I won't, but uh, if I can't film where we meet up, I will definitely film if I end up picking up the collection and and uh, show you everything that we're getting. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, everyone, we picked up some long boxes. There are six of them, and they're all independent, like 99% independent, mostly silver and bronze age, but there are also some copper and maybe a little bit of modern stuff sprinkled in there as well. So going to give you an idea of what's in them. And um, as I'm going through these, let me know if you see anything that uh, catches your eye, so to speak, right? I know there aren't going to be any huge grails in here, but um, still some nice books that a lot of them I'm going to sell as groups or runs, um, some of them individually. But let's start going through the first box, okay? Just to make some room, I'm pulling out a bunch of them here. Here's uh, stuff from the Crusaders, some Atlas comics, Gold Key, a lot of Gold Key and Dell. See, here's a, some modern stuff here, Dark Horse Sampler, uh, Dark Horse Presents 36. So I'm not going to talk about every single book, a lot of Dark Shadow, so Gold Key, uh, Early Dell, Roy Rogers. Um, all right, again, I'm just trying to make some room here, and then I'll flip through the box. So, I don't even know what that is. Saints from Image. Uh, some more Disney, Tencent Disney stuff. Oh, Richie Rich, Bronze Age, Richie Rich. I've got like seven or eight long boxes of <clears throat> Richie Rich and some other Harvey stuff that that um, I need to get sorted through and and just get listed in my eBay store. All right, so some more Richard Rich stuff, more Disney, Tencent, Disney. Um, Del I'm just looking at condition here. Ah, eh, some stuff going on on the bottom, but. So this is not gonna be guys where I make my money back on a handful of books and all the rest is gravy. No, this is going to be some work. That's a nice book. Frankenstein number one. That looks to be in nice shape too. Uh, is that Frankenstein one? I think so. Dell doesn't put the issue numbers on the front, right? They have the, I don't know what this code means up in the, the price box there. I've never figured out the, <laughs> I've never decoded it. But anyway, that might be Frankenstein one. That's a nice book. Tulu, some more Archie, Dark, oh, Dark Claw 1, look at that, Amalgam, Amalgam, all right, Gold Key, or Archie, Whitman, some Whitman variants in here, there are some uh, Whitman variants, uh, Bronze Age, that are, are like variants of the Gold Key version, um, there are some out there that are worth big bucks. Like you can sell these things raw for a couple hundred bucks. Um, I've looked up the list before. That's nice, Dracula. I think that's issue one or or no issue. That might have been the only issue in the uh, in the run. That's a nice book. Critters. Whole bunch of these critters books, which I know nothing about, but they're I think they're copper or modern age books here. I don't remember if they're in the from the 80s or 90s. Um, oh, that looks like an homage to Watchmen. <laughs> uh, interesting. 
Robocop Terminator. Uh, but what I was saying is, I'll just talk while I'm flipping through these. You can see lots more Disney, Tencent Disney. I'm going to have to really make my money back doing work on sorting these, um, figuring out another nice book, Creature Number 1. Nice. Treasure chest. But uh, it's, it's going to take some work, for sure. Putting runs together, putting groups of books together. That's weird, a young blood just sitting in the middle of all this. Twilight Zone. So yeah, this is not slam dunk. More dark. There's some speculation on Dark Cloud going on here. Dark Cloud Ventures. So I think that's the third or fourth one we've come across. But I'm okay. That's I've bought lots of collections like this before where let me make some room so you can see a little better on camera. Lots of collections I purchase where I have to go through that's Star Trek number two, I believe. Photo cover. And that's nice too. Unknown Worlds, 10 cent issue. It's not it's not pre-code, obviously, but uh, I think this might be early 60s or, or late 50s. Looks to be a nice shape too. Oh, more. That's a 12 center. It's a little bit later. But I don't run away from collections like this if the price is right. Um, I like being able to... Oh, some Silver Age Archie, Betty and Veronica. I like being able to put some runs and some groups together for, for people to purchase. And I sell a lot of stuff like that, but it does take work. And, you know, I'm just, I'm one of the, the smaller guys, right, in a, a big hobby with a lot of huge dealers. And I get it, right, as you get bigger, sometimes you can't, you know, deal with collections like this because you're trying to get into bigger and bigger stuff so yeah when you don't have as much overhead like me i can afford to do things like this six million dollar and number one i really don't know if this is worth anything archie's madhouse so is this cover washed out has this been sitting in the sun for um, sorry, didn't realize you guys were off camera a little bit here. Has this been sitting out in the sun for months and months, or is this the way it was made? I'm guessing it's washed out, but I'll have to look it up. Archie's Madhouse number, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, interesting. All right, last part. Oh, Bionic Woman, number one. And some more ten cent stuff, and... Some wings. That looks like it might be a rib fit. And more Harvey. Okay. So that was the first box. Let's take a look at box number two. Let's make some room here. Tom Landry, more gold key. Random Transformers, Unicron, free comic book day. Oh, some romance books. Nice. These? Um, Spire Christian Comics. Some of them are worth some money. Like everything in the world, right? If uh, there's always someone out there that collects something. Alright, more gold key, more gold key. Some 12 cent. Charlton. Alright, put this over here. And let's see, can you see what's in here? Alright, we'll do our best. Some modern image violator Jurassic Park all right ghostly tales I do enjoy the uh, broads this is actually still 12 center so um, these ghostly tales and some of the other titles that I can't remember right now started late silver age and went into the bronze age and I enjoy them they're harder to find harder to find a nice grade for sure but I enjoy finding those and selling them putting them in nice groups. Zorro. There is a lot of, uh, quite a bit, I think these classics illustrated are probably some of the reprints, even though they're 10 cents. I don't know. I am not super educated on classics illustrated. I just know that they went through 
many, many printings. And I think even, even with uh, the 10 cent price tag on them, it, it could still be reprints, but I'm not really sure, right? This one's got a $35 price tag. I don't know if I can sell it for 35 bucks, but I'll find out. Lots of 10 cent Dell. It's really the first war one we've come across here. Okay, more gold key, another Bionic Woman, $6 million man. And again, as I'm going through these, if you see anything interesting, please put it in the comments. Jetsons, I don't know if that's issue one or not, but uh, the first issue of those uh, these gold key TV show comics, they sell. More Whitman, howdy doody. Kind of rough shape or howdy doody yeah these are all like vg or less though these um the howdy doody ones all right you know what maybe i'll make some more room here just to make the books more visible move it out of the way all right more 10 cent dell and then gen 13 i don't know where what is this oh ultraverse from Malibu. That's weird how these modern books are just every once in a while randomly st stuck in here. There's another one. I don't even know what that is. The Ride? Never seen it. Astro City. Vengeance of Bane. Okay. Here are some Whitman Disney books. Back to Archie. Oh, a Christmas cover. Very nice. I think even though that's a 25 cent book, I'm pretty sure these gel diet. <laughs> Dell Giant books are um, our golden age. Yeah, that one would be nice. Nice to sell. Uh, whoa, Captain Marvel Jr. Was out of nowhere. There are hardly any superhero books in here. Some more Dell Giants. Another Christmas one. So you could see very diverse. Oh, cool. Motor City Comics. Very diverse grouping of books here. And I enjoy this stuff. Giant size Popeye. Rough shape. But a lot of $5 books. Um, First Angela? I can't remember. Spawn 9, First Angela? Oops. Anyway. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Um, not a lot of superhero stuff in here, I was saying. Outcast issue one. That used to be such an expensive book when Outcast was being considered or optioned for TV. Did it actually have a, a TV show? I don't remember. This, uh, I'm not going to get political here, but Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez... I think, I don't know if these are the ones or not, but I know she was on some comic book that ended up getting, uh, fetching a, a pretty penny for them, but I don't know if that's what these are, or if they made multiple with her on it. Um, okay, My Little Pony. And back to Ten Cent to uh, Dell, some 12 Cent Gold Key, more romance. Romance is gaining steam, everyone. Here, let me move this box up a little bit. Get a better view. Romance becoming more and more popular as the months and years go by. Monsters, again, I don't know if that's the first issue or not. Monkeys. Lassie. See more and more Charlton. As we go through here. And then, I, what is this? There are like 10 issues of this. Fuda, I don't even know if I should say it, because I don't know what it is. But it looks more like uh, anime, manga type of stuff. My zombie. So a lot of modern stuff at the back of this one. And then, then we end with uh, some Golden Age Indian Chief from Dell. Okay. All right. Let me pause it here. I'm going to get one more box. Uh, for us to go through and we'll see what's in it 
All right, found one more box. Um, this will be the third one we go through. There are six total, but I'm not gonna go through all six, but uh, let's at least go through a third one here and see what's in it. And of course, some spawn. All right, image stuff, and then we get back into some of the bronze and silver age and then the max, so. All right, this, it's all over the place, right? That's okay, gymnastics. What is that? <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got some room here to look. Back to some gold key. Ninjack. I don't think those will be uh, selling. So, of course, some of this will go into bulk. Right, there's some that uh, I don't have enough to make runs out of them. Grimm's Ghost Stories, Gas, Ghostly Tales. This is uh, some of the stuff I was talking about earlier. I just really enjoy the covers of some of these. So, yeah, some of this will ultimately become bulk, and I'll sell it as uh, short boxes. Typically, I'll list them in my eBay store. You know, I'll put 125, 150 books in a box and sell it off for a decent price and helps make more room for more stuff. But, um, and then I'll have a bunch of five and $10 books and maybe a few more that are, you know, a little bit higher, like those 12 cent Frankenstein, Dracula, creature books. Some of those might be, you know, $50, $100 books. We'll see what condition they're in. And then I'll do a bunch of runs, right? In groups, happy days. Ghostly Haunts. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. It's modern IDW. Anyone see that movie that came out? I thought it was okay. Not gonna win any Oscars, but <laughs> I enjoyed I enjoyed the movie. Darker image. I'm always looking for the um, new stand. He's otherwise not worth much. Fighting Army. Cassidy. More David Cassidy. Archie, Little Monsters, Audrey. So some Harvey stuff here. More Archie. Oh, so Captain Marvel that just jumps out out of nowhere. And uh, like the other box, there was a Captain Marvel Jr. that came out of nowhere. Boy, Illa Stories. More romance. Pink Panther. Man. Before this summer's out, I'm going to go through all those Richie Rich boxes and get all the ones out of these ones that I bought as well. And uh, huge listings on eBay. Probably in big groups, big runs. So if you're a Richie Rich fan um, and Casper... There's going to be a bunch. Gen 13. All right. How do we end this? Fright Night number one. We end it with some more Charlton. Fathom. And then we end it with a couple Hercules. Okay. So that's it for the preview. And um, I'll wrap it up. As, uh, maybe I'll get some samples of books from these boxes and some other boxes as well. And uh, we'll wrap this up, show you what I got. All right, we are back inside and I showed you what's in the boxes. You got a good idea based on the three boxes we went through. And I've got a stack of comics I'm gonna go through. Now, these are not all keys. Um, they're, they're just, because you saw the collection, right? This was not a collection of keys. It was a collection of lots of Bronze Age, Silver Age, and some Golden Age, Dell, Gold Key, Charlton, Romance, um, some Copper and Modern stuff, which actually I have a little bit of that here. I'll start out with that. Um, but, but no real big keys. So I'm going to get into these books, but just know that this is a collection that I'm going to have to work very hard at to... Um, you know, to to sell off, right? I do have a couple books in here that make up for 
what I bought the collection for, which I know people ask. Um, I bought the six long boxes for $250, okay? So there you have it. With that, let's get into these stack of books, and you can see what I got. Again, these are not going to be all keys, just uh, kind of the the best of, of the best. So let's get started. Up first, we've got some modern books, right? This is next one, number 21, first comic appearance of Hellboy. Actually, I think this is first appearance in, I can't remember if it's first appearance in color or what. There was another book where it's arguably his first appearance. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that's a nice little key. And I've said it before, no collection is complete without a spawn number one. So we've got one of those. Unfortunately, it's the direct copy. It's not a newsstand. Um, and then you saw the other spawn issue we had, number nine, first appearance of Angela, which I believe now is a Marvel character. I think somehow Marvel got the rights to that. Now I'm going to get into, you know, some of the silver, you know, bronze, silver, and a little bit of Golden Age stuff. It's just random. Just random, all right? The first one is this Unknown Worlds, and I honestly don't even remember what number it is, but I just thought it was a really cool dinosaur cover. Um, it's silver. It's a 10 cent, but it's Silver Age, early Silver Age. I think it's 1960. But um, a dinosaur in the Wild West. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right. And then um, a few Golden Age books here. Popular Comics, number 109. This is not some uh, ridiculously expensive book, but it is in really nice shape for a Golden Age book. I don't remember what year it is. Um, but uh, just really nice condition. And then these are not in very nice condition. We've got uh, a handful of these Airboy Comics books from um, from the Golden Age as well. So, uh, the, you know, if they were in nice condition, you could probably get 50 to 100 bucks for each of these. But I think they're essentially like, um, I don't know, maybe anywhere from good to very good. And uh, there are a few more of them that are in the collection as well, but I just randomly chose those three. Okay, and then I told you there was a lot of Dell. So here's um, uh, Dell number 362, or Walt Disney 362, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Again, not um, nothing huge. I should have done this the other way, where I put everything. So maybe I'll do that. I'll put these up top, those are the ones that I just showed. You can see them. Then as I put the new ones up, you can see those for a little while. I think you can see those on camera, right? Maybe just barely. And I'm sorry about the glare as well. Let me see if there's something I can do about the glare. Give me a second. All right, that's much better. Glare is fixed. It's a little bit brighter. And like I was saying, um, these Dell... Uh, Walt Disney covers are kind of cool. They're not worth a ton of money, but nonetheless, kind of fun to look at. Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Snow White. And then Dell also has these um, giant Christmas covers. And again, right, not great shape, maybe very, you know, very good 4.0-ish condition. But um, just a really, really cool cover. So there are probably four or five Christmas covers in there. Um, then I had this Smash Comics, which unfortunately has this huge, I don't know if that's a tape pull or what that's a pull from. So really, really low grade, but it's a robot cover and, um, you know, I'm going to sell this one for cheap, but I just wanted to show you the, the diversity of this collection was really amazing how much, uh, different stuff there was in there. Um, then, uh, there's this Daredevil. Um, not the Daredevil as we know it in the MCU, but uh, uh, Daredevil from the Golden Age. So uh, there was that in there. Um, this Funny Animals book, which some people really enjoy these. There's this rabbit here that has the, I think that's like the, we're in the Captain Marvel outfit. So Funny Animals. Um Again, Fawcett does those. And I think some of these funny animals have 
I've got to look and see who the um, who the cover artist is because some of them have either Matt Baker or L.B. Cole doing some of these. I know L.B. Cole did some animal covers previously, but um, and then there were a couple EC books, which unfortunately it was not the pre-code horror books, but there's this uh, picture stories from American history. I thought was interesting. Again, these aren't worth a ton. And EC um, usually stands for an entertaining comic. This one says an educational comic. I'm assuming it's the same EC. But there was that one. And then there's uh, Two-Fisted Tales. So there were a handful of war books in here. But um, I just thought having a couple ECs in the collection was kind of neat. These I came through. I think it was in the first box I looked at. These 12-cent Dells, which are really, really nice. Um... The Creature, I believe this is Creature number one. Not amazing condition, but um, probably VG Plus or fine. And then there's this Dracula, which is not numbered. I think it was the only issue. Um, a, a little bit nicer grade. And then this Frankenstein number one, which um, is, you know, it's got a little bit of something going on here. But this is definitely a, a VF copy. So was happy to see those. Those are going to be worth some money for sure. And then I just wanted to show these. Uh, um, there were some, you know, random Star Trek comics in there. Star Trek is is definitely becoming more and more valuable as time goes on. And it had those. There were a few others as well. I just brought those into samples. Then it had issue number two. Which was kind of nice. And then probably the most uh, valuable book in the collection is issue number one. So not high grade. It's got a little bit of color loss in here. Um, so I don't know. This might be like fine minus. Fine, fine minus. But that's going to be a couple hundred bucks. That, that book itself might pay for the collection. But again, that's it. Very diverse. A lot of everything. Um... Tons of, also Harvey, right? Casper and um, Richie Rich. Just a lot of that stuff that you saw a little bit of when I went through the boxes. So that's it. Not a huge collection. You know, no one's going to get rich off of this. But um, still some nice books. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Send me some comments. I like getting feedback and hearing what you think of these things. And until next time, have a great day.